This is a story about the intersection of severe weather with a famous Pennsylvania landmark that produced an infamous result 20 years ago this week. When this bridge was built, it was special. It was the tallest and longest railroad bridge in the entire world. People called it an engineering marvel. People called it the eighth wonder of the world. This was a high-end weather event. You, you don't think about Pennsylvania's uh, famous sites being threatened by a tornado. The bridge in question here is the Kinzu Viaduct, a railroad bridge that once spanned Kinzu Gorge, about 15 miles south of Bradford in McKean County. The bridge was originally built as a shortcut to avoid having to lay an extra eight miles of track over rough terrain that led to McKean County's rich natural resources, such as oil, coal, and timber that needed to go to market. The original bridge was built in 1882, it took 94 days out of 3.1 million pounds of iron. But by 1900, to accommodate heavier trains, the entire structure was rebuilt out of steel, more than 6 million pounds. That original structure was about 300 feet high and more than 2,000 feet long. At the time, the longest and tallest railroad viaduct in the world. The towers were known as Phoenix Columns, a patented design that was lighter in weight and stronger than cast iron columns of similar shape and size. The rebuild in 1900 with steel took three and a half months, more than 100 men working 10-hour shifts. But once finished, the bridge could handle heavier loads, and that practice continued until 1959. In 1963, then-Governor William Scranton signed a law that created Kinzu Bridge State Park, which opened in 1970, and Kinzu Viaduct was placed on the National Register of Historic Civil Engineering Landmarks in 1977. Starting a decade later, excursion trains originating from Marionville, about 35 miles to the southwest, would travel through the Allegheny National Forest to the viaduct and then return to Marionville. During a February 2002 inspection, DCNR engineers determined that the bridge needed a full-scale inspection, which subsequently revealed sections of steel that rusted through. In June of that year, the excursion trains were stopped, and in August, the bridge was closed to pedestrians, pending a repair and restoration process, which began in February 2003. Remember the rebuild of the bridge with steel in 1900? Well, it turned out that some of the anchor bolts were not replaced with steel, but merely reinforced. That seemingly minor detail would matter on July 21, 2003, a fateful summer day when the weather would forever change those restoration plans. We'll continue our look at when Mother Nature met an engineering marvel tomorrow night. For Weather World, I'm John Neese.